Bao lại Bao lại Bao lại Bao lại Bao 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 lại Bao Bao lại Bao Bao lại 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 We about to take them all out, ball out, ball out, ball out. Me and my hitters go all out, me and my hitters go all out. We about to take them all out. Drop them by the mile out, come deliver mail on y'all right. Show them, show them what it's all about. Just get called out, fall out, fall out. Me and my clique will fall out, me and my chick will fall out. We minding our business, keep y'all out. Break up. Get up quick, then we hit licks till it's all out. I hate my job, I'ma call out. Boss, I'm a self child out. I'm a recruiter, a high percentage shooters. Gotta keep rifles and rubies. Some people just try for the losers. Watch for the jackets, they might they be cruising. I can put put, put together. A yard kissing yellow. My hitters be tough in the leather. Can't nobody do it better. Glock 9 with the F in. Step in with my best friend. Best friend, Smith and West in. If you miss six, still catch 10. Ball out, ball out. All out, pulling up outside of y'all house, empty till we all out. I got the juice and I'm crazy and crazy. And if you not a killer, don't say his squad ain't nothing to play with. Undertaker and a grave big, best man like Tay Diggs. When you in the paint, gotta play big. Hit a zigger like cavemen, went from good fella to made me. Bow out, bow out, me and my hitters go all out. Shout out, bow out, bow out, get called out. Bow out, bow out, me and my hitters go all out. Bow out, bow out. We about to take a ball out, ball out, ball out. Me and my hitters go all out, me and my hitters go all out. We about to take a ball out, ball out, ball out. Me and my hitters go all out, ball out, ball out. We about to take a ball out, ball out, ball out. Me and my hitters go all out, me and my hitters go all out. We about to take a ball out. What's going on? Hey y'all, what's going on? Boss Cowboy Sports, where your voice matters. It's Picante, and I'm so excited to be here, guys. What's going on, Boss Cowboy? How's it going? Oh my God. Like, as soon as we started the show, we couldn't even start the show, and the chat box went crazy. So I'm learning about the signing from the show. We gonna get into it though. What's up, Bacate? Y'all say what's up to Bacate? What's up, OC? What's the word, man? Hey, I'm excited to get into this content. We got a lot of stuff. Obviously, we got breaking news now, so this is great. Yeah, we definitely got breaking yeah. news, and we getting into that anyway. So, but it's one of those things that it makes it even better. It's gonna make everything even better that that we getting ready to talk about. But hey, I'm not running stuff today. The OC not running anything today. Who's mm -hmm. running everything today? Picante. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> well, let's get it started. I know. I saw all the feed, so I'm excited. Looking forward to this hot show. So let's see. Mm -hmm. We need an update. I know I need an update. We're just reading the feeds. Give us an update on the free agency. OC? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot going on, obviously, um, you know, with the signing on defense and kind of looking forward uh, with some projected visits in the secondary uh, and obviously the new signing that we just got. Um, you know, I know Boss Cowboy got tons of content uh, on this. We even got Craig coming into the chat just trying to get stuff started, you know, saying no horn is the pick. You know, yeah, I see you, We're going to fight about that today. Trust <laughs> I me. I see you. <laughs> but we got a lot we got a whole lot so boss cowboy how you feeling man let's get into it yeah man uh and then you know see he's a definitely that's that's how to do it see he's he speaking to the lady he said what's up picante you know and i like what's that up, you know because we get a lot of love we definitely get a lot of love on boss cowboy sports though see see know how to come in man that's how to do it say what's up that's how to do it i appreciate that see no nah, man i'm definitely ready to get into it I mean, what, what you want to start with you said free agency picante uh, so let's do it. Um, let's just take a quick look at it, and we go start going over everything. All right. So just looking at free agency real quick. I always want to start with free agency of the past. Now let's look at free agency of, of now. I think that's better. So the, ooh, ooh, that was OC's neck. Y'all heard that? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. 
This is like, Katow! No, but this is free agency right now. So let's just take a pause and we gonna get into everything y'all want to talk about because I see it in the chat. It's fire. We gonna talk about all that, but let's first take a general overview of free agency. What's the first thing I just want to just say in general? What do you see? Period. Well, listen, man. I mean, we, we got obviously three new defensive linemen in terms of contract. One old, two new, right? We got a, a swing backup tackle, right? We got two cornerbacks with contracts, right? And then we got three receivers with contracts. Very, very interesting. <laughs> interesting. Interesting time. Yes, it is. It is. And, and see, when I look at it, this is what I see. I see a lot of action going on except where it should be action. Okay. Mm -hmm. So isn't it funny that they announced that Alden Smith would not be coming back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They announced that you can mm -hmm. see the big X on my boy Alden. Mm -hmm. You know, we wasn't really saying he should come back here anyway, but they announced it. Where's the announcement on Sean Lee? Where's mm -hmm. the announcement on Crawford? Where's mm -hmm. the announcement on Xavier Woods? So when I'm looking at the landscape of the free agents that's still sitting around, I'm seeing a lot of action outside of where, to me, there should be obvious action. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? So when you start, mm -hmm. this is how it started. This was a week mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. This was before the press conference. Everybody was at clean slate. Mm -hmm. One week later. Oh man, the heads have rolled Picante. They mm. they rolled. The so boss cowboy. You name three names that all have something in common. What? They're favorites of the Cowboys family. <laughs> That's why you haven't heard about any changes or updates. And I I I will reach out here and say that unless there is some significant signings in those positions via free agency, as in we pay somebody some significant dollars, which I doubt, you're not gonna hear their names, Boss Cowboy. That's the reason why. That's sad, man. I just said it's because it's one of those things to where oh, you start getting excited. You start mm -hmm. getting your hopes up. Mm -hmm. But then if you follow the boss cowboy God, this is why you want to follow the God. You want to follow the God because it'll keep you from being bamboozled, mm. hoodwinked, led astray, led mm -hmm. astray, mm -hmm. a muck, mm -hmm. a tragedy, a mm -hmm. disgrace. Mm -hmm. But that's if you keep up. Mm -hmm. If you're not keeping up with the boss cowboy God, it don't become obvious to you because it does help. Let's be all the way honest. It does help when you have a illustration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, everybody on the stream needs to buy the boss cowboy God. And I'm going to tell you just the primary reason why. And the men on uh, that follow the stream, you go get this, man. Look, if you don't get this guy, you're going to be behind on some of the stuff that we're talking about because you're not going to even know all the players. So if you want to really learn the players, learn the game, learn the ebb and flows of free agency and the upcoming draft and kind of where we should position ourselves, you need to get that guy. I mean, don't be like me with your hopes up and got let down. All right. Me, the 11th grade prom. <laughs> hopes up. Right. Girl never came. Right. Got my tux. Got everything. Thought we going somewhere. Got stood up, baby. Because that's what happens a lot of times with the fan base. You just get straight up stood up. Right. The date never shows up. But that won't happen to you. OK. You have a real good backup plan. Get the boss cowboy guy now. All right. And I'm not just saying that. I'm telling you what it is because I know the amount of work that's been put into this. And I know the excellence in which this thing has been executed by boss cowboy. And so you need to go ahead and get it. Man, that boy said all that just, man, make me feel so good. Picante, how can we just, like, because, look, I talk about that free agency all day, Picante. I done cut my ball off and everything. I got my clear views on. <laughs> I got everything going on. But let me look at this free agency window one more time because I want to see if I see something else. Give me one second because I'm not going to rush that. Let me look at it. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Mm. Let, let me jump in here and help out. Yeah, please. Where are the in, where are the impact free agent signings? Ah, you want to go there? You want to go there? Where are the impact? 
Mm. Not role players. Uh, not role players. Mm. Impact. Uh, Are there any impact free agent signings? Uh, let's now look. we need to fill some gaps, right? And, and I, look, I like we talked about this on the last show, Boss Cowboy. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad, right? At one of the defensive line signings, I'm kind of mad about the other one, right? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not completely mad about the tackle signing, although I really don't understand it. And you can find that video on YouTube that was done by the OC himself talking about Ty Nache and his signing and what I think about him and all those things, right? You can, you can get into that. I'll break that down, right? I mean, he's not bad, but I, I don't understand it, right? I mean, I'm looking at the wide receivers, okay? I mean, I mean, look, it's okay. Yeah, that, the that's receivers cool. look crazy, man. Just be all the way up. Go ahead, though. No, go ahead. <laughs> No, no, no. Go ahead, Boss Cowboy. What you, what you feel about it? Because you play cornerback, so I, I want to defer to you on this. It, it's just you can see how it's lining up. That's why this picture means so much. It means so much. Like, when you look at Picante, it means so much. It just means – no, I'm sorry, not Picante. The, the, um, <laughs> the, um, the free agents. My fault. I'm so sorry. All right, so, yeah, so, because uh, I, I just missed Picante, man. I'm so happy to see the homie back, man. Just everybody, man. Y'all give Picante a clap, man. We got Picante back in the building, man. I want to just, just everybody, y'all just give Picante. It's good to see him, man. There's good people, just a good cowboy fan. But, man, back to the receivers. Man, it just says that they basically trying to say that we're going into the um, draft with a BPA, but the BPA is like, hmm. But those guys earned it at the same time, too. Like, mm -hmm. they earned it. Like, I can't say that those guys didn't make the tough catches and do the things when they was called upon. So it's also good culturally what I see what they've done with the receivers, that if you go out there and play good, the the Dallas Cowboy organization said that, hey, we're looking to try to keep our own even down to the fourth receiver. So I'm not too mad at it. It's just that when you mix it with the favorites not having an X on them, I see it coming. I see it coming. And, and here's the thing, too, Boss Cowboy, that we've never talked about, which is something important that we do need to talk about at some point. Where is the viable backup quarterback? And don't tell me it's the new check. Why haven't we went out and signed one of these veteran free agent quarterbacks that will be a solid backup in case of injury? We signed Dak, fantastic. We got that done. But we have not signed a viable free agent. Andy Dalton has gone to the Bears. So where is our backup quarterback? Don't tell me it's Ben DiNucci. Don't tell me that. Please. Please don't say that. Uh, I think it's early. It's week two. So I'm going to give some time to find that guy. And then it's starting to drop. The free agent is starting to drop. Yes. Um, yes. Go, I want to go back to Picante because if the more I look at free agency, I'm going to be honest, the more it's frustrating me. Picante, like, what you want to talk about next? Well, I mean, on our feed? Or the feed or just period, just whatever. Like, you running everything right now. Did you like? Did you? Well, let's move on to safety. Obviously, there's some news going around, so let's move on to that. You right? <laughs> because that's what's buzzing right now. Yes. Uh, uh OC, you want to go first? I mean, look, we well, look. I mean, we're, we're like the prophets of podcasting, okay? And this is what I'm saying. Like, listen, we broke down the dude that they signed before they even signed the dude. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. we broke down and analyzed the dude before he got signed from Atlanta, right? So, I mean, listen, I, I'm not saying anything bad, right, about about Hooker, right? I'm not saying anything bad about Curse or, or Keys. I'm not saying anything bad about any of these guys. I think that hey, we're better than we were last year. With, with with hooker right um do i think we could do better in terms of coverage I, i'm looking for six i'm looking for a top 13 defense right i wanted i want you to be a little bit better than top 15 right i don't want you right in the middle of the pack i don't think that's quite good enough to get a six boss cowboy i think you need to swing closer to the top third if you can get there and for that to happen in the safety position we need a guy that can turn and run and with some ball skills i mean we need to find a playmaker in that back end of the defense boss cowboy and that's what i think should be the focus and right now i'm not 100 percent sure we're there with some of the things i've seen boss but what do you think educate me boss talk to me yeah um 
when it come down to this safety, so they obviously signed the guy that we did a film breakdown on this morning, Jerron Kurtz, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, we can take a brief little look at his film, uh, just just real quick. And then they also saying in the feed that Alex Smith would be something that would be a good backup quarterback. And they bringing us back to what you was talking about earlier. Uh, where you was talking about us looking at quarterback. And Alex Smith is also in the Boss Cowboy Guide, so we already agree with you on that. We've quality. St- yeah, we've already stamped him as a quality backup. Let's get Picante back in the picture. Um, you know, so it's it's somebody that makes sense to us. But going back to safety, since that's what Picante wanted to talk about, uh, I, I obviously love Javon Curtis. And listen, we know he's not the best safety money can buy but i know completely about this guy because he was actually in the boss cowboy god last year okay and what really happened with him is he was in a deep safety room that's the only thing that happened he was acquired by minnesota so you got to ask yourself if you are somebody that's looking to play in Minnesota and the people that's sitting in front of you is Anthony and Smith, you're not playing. I don't care. You're not developing. You're not getting any of the things that you need to go to the next level. It's not happening. So I always knew that he was an underdeveloped safety, right? And so let's just take a quick look at his film, all right? So when you take a look at his film, what you see with him is a very, very, very good box guy, right? He's very instinctive in his tackling, very. And I said it like this, OC, he's a good tackler at worst. So there are times to where you will see him explode. And I love the fact that he's this basically last year where he was basically got a lot of starting reps before he was put back on the practice squad, but he made the most of it. Like right here, this is one of the things that bothered me is because on all the tape that I was watching when I was studying him, I would see a direct target. This is a play action that's for him. They designed that for him, right, to where they went right at him and really tried to lower him to sleep. There's another thing about him as we break him down that you'll see when the, when the tackle's blocked down, he should have already went about a second ago and he would have been able to get into that play a lot faster. And I'm talking about defensive eyes. The checks that we look for is the block downs of the tackles. When we see that, we attack. And you can see every now and then when he has to read a play, he's a tad slow. So, but there are other plays, like this is another one you're gonna see where he's just a tad slow, not reading, because there's no threats to his side. You got to look to his side. There's no threat. So when he see all of that run action, you got to feel that fast. You got to feel it. But that's my only knock on him, OC, because you can even see right here when he reads this run slow that he's going to cause that running lane because he really should have filled when that fullback came. He should have filled that a lot faster and closed that mm-hmm. hold up and, and tried to squeeze down that pocket. But he did. Yeah, he's not. Me- he's not mean to uh, running back in the hole. And uh, his reaction is slow. He's a big rover type safety, right? And that's no, more but he of get the same. better. But he get better. See, cause see, then he changes, cause that's the only couple of plays you go find him being slow. On the most of the plays, what you go see of him playing with good instincts, reading a run, coming down and feeling, and being a terrorist in the backfield. You know, now that wasn't really that hard because that was, you know, that's a weak tight end that he moved out the way. But this play right here, this you start seeing the sauce when he's in the box. I want you to talk about this, OC, if you don't mind. Yeah, so, I mean, what you see here, I mean, basically, is a guy that is playing almost, I mean, safety. That's why I called him like a rover position, right? So almost like a safety hybrid, almost linebacker. Because he's big, he's long, he shoots the gap, he makes the tackle. Fantastic read, right? So he's. it seems that he's very, very comfortable down in the box, which is good in the sense of fixing the run defense. And I, so I get the thought in terms of the signing. I mean, there he is again, you know, being very, very instinctive and coming down, sliding inside, making a tackle right there. Um, you know, again, he's playing like a linebacker position, right? He's walked down into the box, right? Gets off a weak block, slides inside, and wraps the guy up. I, I do want to see him use some of his leverage a little bit better in terms of him being explosive and coming through tackles, right? I don't Watch like body one. tacklers. Yeah, 
I don't like body tacklers, right? I don't like him tackling high, right? I want you to bend and explode through the tackle and propel the dude back. Because I think that in, in this NFL, you have so many shifty people that can slide off of weak body tackles or that can break a tackle, then you can get in trouble in a big game situation. So you see him on the edge right here at the top of the screen, right? He's sprinting off the edge. He's coming straight downhill. He's unblocked and he makes the tackle. So great job. So again, he's playing a lot of rover, you know, on this tape that we see here. We see him playing on the back third right and so here he is and this looks like some of yeah, the zone coverage and he's coming he's coming up well he's coming up to blitz all right so here we go Boom, gets <laughs> that's to the instincts bro that's just instincts that's film when somebody looks like a call play looks yeah, little, it yeah looks he because like he that, when you do this when you know the audible because they see the offense gave it away when they see that type of motion you know what's coming he's trying to get in that gap to block and then get free and he just <laughs> went that dude is like like I love his instincts, bro. That's the thing I like about him. It seems to me when I'm breaking him down, OC, I want to get your thoughts on this. It's, it seems like Dallas should be trying to find ways to just get him to be a wild man, just similar to what, like, Hannick was to our defense at U of H. That's an inside thing. Like, if you was able to get one of our safeties to play free, he was a literal all-prone special teams in the league because it wasn't about thinking. It was about getting that guy to be wild. What's your thoughts? Mm -hmm. I think he's a really good athlete. I think that he's a hybrid rover type, safety type, right? I don't see a pure safety. My honest opinion is that I want to see a real safety type. I want to see a ball hawk on that back end. And that's what we really don't have right now. We got guys that are good athletes that can come up and make plays with a couple of these signings here. And that's cool, right? And I'm not against him as a player. I think he's a good young player. I think it's some things technique-wise. I, I want to see his feet moving a little bit quicker because he takes a step back instead, instead of getting into like a quick shuffle. If he right. gets to a, a, a quick shuff or slide. This is all cover stuff. Here it go. Go, mm -hmm. go for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so if he gets to a quick shuffle there, Boss Cowboy, you know that's a pick, right? That's a, probably a pick six, yeah. right? So it's just, it's just technical stuff, right? And he, like I said, he's a playmaker type of guy that you want on your team that can make some plays for you, no doubt about it, right? Absolutely no doubt about it, right? And so he's a good athlete. Um, I just like to see him just a little bit better uh, and reactionary in terms of being able to make plays on the football because as I always say, and I will continue to repeat this, this is a passing league. And so on the back end, you got to have some playmakers. You got to have some dudes that can cover. And that, that can part make some right plays. there, that part right there, that's not good, bro, because that's a running back, and you don't see good closing speed on a running back. Like, that's just being all the way honest as we breaking him down. Like, to me, I don't see that. Like, when I would have prayed to go against a running back going across field. That would have been an easy stop. You know, but yeah. you can see that closing speed is a struggle. Yeah, he's long, man. He's long. He's big. You know, he's long. He's big. Yow! You know, he pushes him out the ball. No, no, him out no, the no. That's five yards. He knocked him five yards off that, man. Yeah, I, I ain't giving him credit for that because that was like the dude was in the air. You know what I'm saying? No, he's that not. I watched this a hundred times. Watch this. Let he go jump, on. come down, and jump. Yeah, okay, man. that was good. Yeah, right, you, you got to get him, man. You got to get him when you can get him. Well, I'm still defense. You know me, brother. Yeah, you, you know, you hitting the dude. He just landed. That's cool. So here he is in coverage. Okay, so this is good. So uh, a little bit grabby, and, you know, dude ran a good route and got separation. That's the part I don't like. On right? this one, I think his eyes was bad, OC, because I watched this one too. I mean, you know I did because I put together the tape. But yeah, watch absolutely. his eyes right <laughs> Watch his eyes right here. You go see his eyes are bad because he looking. You can see it right there. He looking back at the quarterback. That's what caused that separation, even worse. Yeah. And then that's a good athlete he was going against, but that just wasn't good coverage right there, and bad eyes. Let's take a, let's take a look at him here. All right, here we go. He comes up. He he's a willing tackler, right? And so that's what you got now. You got two safeties that are physical. They'll come up. They're willing tacklers, right? But my contention, and it's going to stay the same until I see this change, is where is the ball hawk? Where is the playmaker that's going to come up and make plays on a football and that can get pluck the football out of the air and make some plays on that back end? That can get you some turnovers, right? This guy's a tackler. He's going to come up. He's willing. There he is. Boom on the tackle. Great job, right? Great job. Nothing against that. But in terms of the overall personnel, right, if I'm the GM, I need a ball hawk. I need a guy that's going to get back there, uh, pick the ball, that's going to make plays on the football, that's going to make some pass deflections, which we're going to get into talking about a couple of those guys who I think a little bit later. But, hey, we got this right now. And like I said, he's a solid addition to the team. Not bad. So, uh, so when I, when I think about Curse – and I think about what potentially Quinn is doing, I'm starting to like it. And I think I'm starting to see it. I'm starting to see, just in my opinion, 
Mm -hmm. The Cowboys seem to be putting first things first. Right mm -hmm. now they saying we lost greatly because we couldn't stop a nosebleed. We couldn't stop the run. So mm -hmm. it looked like what they're doing is it looked like they're just getting going all in with people on the front. That's true. They get Neil to come mm -hmm. in as linebacker. They get this guy who used to play free, but obviously is a better box guy, or I would call a natural box guy because I saw great box instincts out of him. True. And then you look at the type of front and the guys that we we signed on the front, they are unmovable guys. I see what they're doing, and the names are not good. It's not pretty. It's not sexy, but I can see it. And I, saw, I got a real good question. Somebody asked, man, we signing box safeties. We need a true center fielder. Thank you, Florida Cowboy. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Florida Cowboy. That's what I think. Because I think that if you got Jalen Smith and LVE and they're going to be the truth and you didn't cut one of those guys, right, and you go guarantee Jalen a bunch of cash, that's all good, right? So you 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 addressed it. You got first of all, let's not forget you got Antoine Wood. That's a solid nose guard, right? You got the urban signing, right? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of my other guy. Uh, uh, I forget his name now. But listen, hey, you plugged up the middle of that defense in terms of run stoppers, right? You got some safeties on the back end that can hit, right? Okay, fantastic. Now where is my ball hawk? Give me somebody that can pluck the ball out of the air. What you think about that, OC? I mean, yeah, I am the OC, Boss Cowboy. Excuse me, I'm reading my own name. Yeah, I was, I, I was looking at Picante sauce. That's all I was looking at from Jeff. <laughs> well, we got um, just seen in the negotiations with KZ. What do you think about that, Boss Cowboy? Um, that's the answer. Like people been saying. Well, I ain't gonna say that's the answer. I'm, I'm not gonna say he's the answer. Don't reach. <laughs> yeah, but one at a time is what I would say. Just keeping it 100 with everybody that's listening. Yes, we know we just picked up a box guy. We did film on him this morning showing and proving this is a pure box guy based on how he played with Detroit. But I'm going to tell you right now, Curse is a football player. He can get back there. Now, he might not be the best back there, but he can get back there. All you got to go do is go look at him at Clemson, and you can see mostly he was playing in a single high. They basically say, do you want a job? Yes. Do you want to you get on the field? Yes. Well, get down there and play some linebacker safety, and he did it. So he might be that guy, but right now the film clearly showed he's the box guy. So to answer that question, which was a good question from Florida, Cowboy, uh, what we could, what we gonna do about the, the the single high? It could be Demonte. It could be Malik Hooker. What's your thoughts on that, OC? Ah, you know, this is kind of a little bit of a toughie, man. I it mean, to, 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 to be to be honest, listen, okay, I'm gonna keep it. Real. I don't, I'm not in love with not one of these guys, okay? I ain't in love. I'm not in love with either one of them. I'm just truly not, man. I think that, man, we can do better than this, man. I think that we, some of the break, this is why you need to keep up and watch the show all the time, right? Because we busting out so much content and we chop through it so fast that if you don't keep up you go miss stuff that is really pertinent to this conversation right because you mentioned several viable safeties boss cowboy that will be ball hawk type safeties that were also great tacklers right so you mentioned this i think in the combination of the film that you've already done and that we've already done this stuff one of those guys makes sense right versus these guys boss cowboy in my opinion I'm going to say this before I give it back to Picante. Um, I'm starting to lean back to Malik Hooker, right? The reason being is because, you know, obviously it's so super true that the best ability is availability. Or some people say that the best ability is durability. You, I hear it both ways, depending on what part of the country you come from. Uh, but I'm starting to lean on roll your dice with Malik, knowing he go get hurt, but get some insurance in the draft. Go ahead and walk in there with him as a BP, as a starter, and a guy that can come in there and be kind of like your vocal guy. Because I, I could tell that the Colts loved him. I could tell. You know, he seemed like he'll be a guy that'll be able to rally. And DeMonte wouldn't be too bad. Like, if we got to go super cheap seats, he plays hard, he plays fast, he makes his own luck. Like, we've already shown that many times on the film. We showed it here. 
that he's going to make his look. That's exactly what he's going to do. And he's going to go get the ball. Uh, and you're right. I do know that there are other safeties out there that can be just as good. But since they interviewed these guys, I wouldn't be so just mad, especially since you already got your box guy now and curse. If since you already got your box guy, I promise you I would not be mad if you just went and got one of those guys to say, oh, at least we feel the hold a little bit and we will continue this process in the draft and bring in competition. Would you be open to that, OC, and Picante? Um, I'm open to that, Boss Cowboy, because, listen, I think that – and let me, let me preface all my critique in context. Either one of those guys back there, along with the free agent signing, that – signings in the secondary that you just did is better to me than what we had last year okay right. it's definitely better right it's definitely better so i want to keep this thing in perspective right for the fans right but i think you could do a little bit better and i think that as a fan base and as a podcaster and as a fan right i mean here's the thing i want you to go out and do the absolute best you can and that's what i'm saying no these guys are upgrades these guys help the defense these guys help us be better than we were this last year you got some on that um, contact before we move on and you change the subject on us? Yo, I'm just excited. I want the season to start already. I just oh, want to see going down. I just, yeah, I'm just like, oh. yeah, yeah, Let's me too. Cause it's, yeah, yeah, because you can feel it and, you know, like you can feel some of these see because I think Florida said it best with this Picante sauce. Us, he better than Wilson. Yep. Florida is he? I think I think he was saying, "Is he?" Oh, is he better than Wilson? Okay, yeah, that's Florida what he Cowboys. meant. I think. I think that's what he meant. But yes, no, hold on, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like no, like no. Overall, I would say right now, <laughs> yeah, 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 like no. Like, no, Donovan Wilson, no, man, we, no. Like, no, you dealing with a guy that's a perfect hybrid with Donovan Wilson. You exactly. Getting a, you getting a, a good box guy, and uh, uh, let me see who this is. Jay said, Curse has character issues and his limited starts. Don't get excited about depth, guys. Yeah, I know he had a couple of DWIs. I don't really care about that type of stuff. I'm going to be honest. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like – like I think like Jimmy Johnson, man, if, if we was tolerant of people like Charles Haley and Eric Williams and stuff like that to do what we had to do to have that talent, then I don't get too caught up in a kind of like – Mm -mm. No, know. boss, I'm stopping you there. I'm stopping you there, boss. Okay. No, <laughs> don't don't even compare a curse with Haley in, no, in a breath, see, right? See, yeah, that, see, why y'all do that? No, no, no it's completely so different. Bad with no, 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 see, mm -mm. we know no. the players are different, but I do get excited for their players, especially when the their players competing against the other guy that's on there. Because let me just ask you a question. I get mm -hmm. super excited of their players when the their players trying to take out Xavier Woods. Yes. I get mm -hmm. excited about that. So that's that's where I'm not saying he's Haley. I'm saying I just want better than what we had. Like, because that's why I was saying Xavier Woods, you know, and I'm not talking to you on this, OC. I'm just saying in general yeah. mm -hmm. that Xavier Woods was going to be horrible on tackling some days. Like, just mm -hmm. horrible. Like, mm -hmm. constantly moving the chains on him and nobody saying a word, right? Curse is a good tackler on a bad day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. the difference so mm -hmm. i do get excited for that because like and i'm not talking to you oc i'm just saying like why would the cowboy fans act bougie and uppity when you starving like why in the hell do mm, i don't want him i don't want him i don't want him i'm, I'm not you didn't say that oc i'm just mm -hmm. saying people that'd be like oh oh he's just this well who the hell did we just have everybody we just had was dealt like Xavier Woods is dealt. So what you're saying, Boss Cowboy, is take this hamburger and be happy. Thank Don't be you. complaining about going to the steakhouse. Take this cheeseburger, get it down, chase it with a Diet Coke if you're trying to be healthy, and then feel good about yourself, right? I feel you, but my concern about a guy like that that's not an elite talent guy, I'm going to be honest with you because I'm a character guy. I want to see my dudes make good decisions. And I think that, man, hey, I don't want you to come to D-Town from Detroit. Ain't nothing to do up in Detroit. Look, I grew up not too far from Detroit, okay? 
day up in Ohio. Look, ain't nothing to do in Detroit. You come down to Dallas, the Hollywood of the South, it's tons of stuff to do down here. So I don't want to see you get a DWI, miss four games, Man. and hurt our defense. That's all I'm saying, boss. That's all that I'm saying. That DWI and I, and I, was so long ago, bro. That DWI was – you know I researched this guy. He was in my first book, man. Don't you dare. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. Don't you dare. <laughs> How dare you. How dare you. How dare you. Don't you dare. No, man. I checked this guy. I'm not worried about these little old minor to me. It's minor to me. I, okay. You know, it, to me, like – because, okay. you know, we know there are rules and, like, you stick to the rules, 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 rules. I'm, I, like, I'm, I, I want us thinking like Jimmy Johnson. He was rules, 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 too. But his punishment was different depending on the player. You know yeah, rules, it's rules unless you can ball. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's rules unless you can right. ball. Right. You can ball, it ain't stuff, no rules. Man. <laughs> yeah, man, like, to see, and, that, and you know, because that's what get on my nerves about us when we be getting caught up at practices. Oh, that guy, he, you know, ha, ha, he wasn't a practice player. I'd be like, mm -hmm. you up at it. Damn, like I'm so team Iverson on that Picante. I'm super team Iverson. Like we talking about practice. Like OC, you know, you know we play with guys who would go crazy at practice and just be scared in the game. You know Get that. Get knocked out. And you, like my boy B Mid. B Mid was the laziest practice player I ever played with. But get him in the game. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's and you gotta know that. You gotta as a coach be able to say, hold on, man. This dude, he just not that dude. But when you turn them lights on, he's more than that dude. Because then you're trying to pigeonhole everybody to be practice all Americans and, and man, whatever, man. I just don't get into that. I'm like, I'm, and I don't think Jimmy did. Like Jimmy, like for instance, when when Michael Irvin missed that plane, he punished him. He set him on the bench mm -hmm. for a series. <laughs> <laughs> for a series oh that's so punishing oh you really put your foot down no he was like okay enough of that enough of the punishment get on that third man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i feel you on that boss look man I, like i said before look these guys are clear upgrades versus the guys that we had and so on that part Man, I'm good, man. I I want to make sure, man, that hey, as an organization, we making good decisions, right? And that we just moving it forward, man. And other than that, man, I'm cool on it. I'm cool 100%. All right, man. I'm going back to Picante. I ain't mean to give you that L like that, man. That that was kind of easy. <laughs> it come a little bit harder though. That was kind of easy though. No, no, no you know I got you. Man? All right, yeah, come a little harder, man. I, 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 I got you. You capping? <laughs> really? I got you. Oh yeah, yeah, man. You know so. You know so. But but All bro, right. what you got? What's okay. on your mind again? We we okay. covered well, it, giving it. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, you guys have been doing a lot of film breakdown on all twenty-two. I love it. I really do. I am enjoying it. Thank you so much. Tell us about it. Who's got it? Uh, Boss Cowboy did this one. Uh, I I just did a film breakdown a little bit on Curse. So. Sure. I guess we'll we'll let oh well I just said like this if y'all go to the YouTube page we'll just show some of it you can uh, definitely pull up easier than going on my Facebook some of our film breakdowns because it really gets into it and I did one where I actually did Demonte versus Malik I did one individually on them I did one on Jerron Curse you know obviously we've been very safety heavy and then the OC he did one that's super fire to me man. Uh, on Danny Shelton, and he really did a really good job of breaking down Ty. Did you want to tease him a little bit with any one of these, man? Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, if you want to learn about the, the tackle Ty Nache that we signed and learn about his strengths and weaknesses, listen, go on a YouTube channel, check out the video, okay? Uh, and, and I'll give you a little bit here. He's playing left tackle, okay, And uh, against Pierre Paul. And look, he's a guy that he slides out 45 degree angle. And long guy has good hands, okay? Has strengths and weaknesses. So he's a good swing, uh, multi dimensional player. Can play guard or tackle. Uh, and here he is. Uh, that's what I don't like about him. Uh, slow off the ball, uh, not quick to get the backside cut off, right? And uh, his, the defensive tackle almost makes that tackle. So that's the thing that I kind of don't like about him. But again, he's 
a solid backup swing tackle. Doesn't have a lot of tread on his tire. Uh, gets bull rushed back there because he's he's not recognizing the game. Um, you know, and I think that you know we could have done a little bit better there. But hey, look, as a backup, because somebody's not healthy or somebody gets hurt, I get it. Um, you put him in a, in a football game and you don't feel too bad about it. You know, not horribly bad, uh, but you don't feel great. Plays a little bit too high right there. Gets stood up and pushed back. I don't like that. Got to play with a little bit more knee bend and more explosion. Uh, but anyway, that's him. You'll get a much more of that if you check out uh, the, the video I dropped on YouTube. Um, and uh, it's, it's some good stuff there. And then we also got into uh, Danny Shelton as well and get into the big Samoan guy, big, powerful, strong Samoan guy. Um, talk about him, strengths and weaknesses, kind of what he brings to the table. That's him bull rushing the guy back to the quarterback, big, heavy guy. Uh, but normally plays nose guard. So um, like him in terms of his strength, um, you can see him right in the middle of your screen over 61. And he, he comes off the ball and just completely just uh, uh, kablookies uh, <laughs> that center, man. Hits the dude, almost knocks him out of his shoes. Uh, and just is a big, heavy, strong man, right? Uh, one move, go for You're not pushing him back when he's playing low. Now he beats two blocks, makes the tackle right there. Big, strong, heavy dude. Uh, love that about him. A true nose tackle to me. Again, beats the block one-on-one, -on -one, comes off. But again, pursuit-wise, uh, not the best pursuit guy, not the best condition guy. But uh, check him out uh, on the YouTube uh, channel, Boss Cowboy Sports, to get the full breakdown about him. Yeah, man, I OC killed that. And like, <clears throat> and we've been, we gonna keep doing this. This is gonna be a, a thing you gonna see from us forever going forward obviously the thing that was slowing us down was working on the book um and the whole team was working on the book to where you know we trying to really do a good job of having the candidates in the book so that if you actually want to have a good feel of what's out there then obviously purchase the boss cowboy guide and we're getting ready to update it after the pro days are done and that's where you go see all the 40s and stuff like that so yeah now we pushing out a lot of videos and make sure y'all continue to like share and subscribe with boss cowboy sports so when we pushing that type of content y'all getting it and so go through all the steps though you'll be surprised how many people hit the like hit the subscribe and forget to hit the bell it's the little things, just like football. It's the little things, right? You got to do the little things if you want to get everything. And the same thing I would say do on Facebook where you got to hit that like, you got to hit that follow. Because a lot of people say, boss, I don't get the notifications. You didn't go through all the steps. You got to go through all the little steps that you're seeing right here to be able to get the notifications. Because sometimes the OC is going to post only content only on mm -hmm. youtube and sometimes i'm gonna only post content on facebook so it'd be good to be like following us everywhere so that you can get all that content so um but obviously i want to be courteous and go back to picante and uh because she 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 leading the show i want to kind of we just whatever you say we rocking with it did you have any thoughts on what we just talked about uh, no, but I just love the breakdown OC and Boss Cowboy. You guys are doing a fabulous job. So I just really, like I said, I love it. And I'm Thank sure you. everyone else does too. So thanks Thank for that. You. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Picante sauce. <laughs> well, let's get into these. You know, I've been hearing all this talk about some college guys. What's up with these college guys? That's what's going on with that. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I know what yeah. you're talking about. I yeah. Know you know what I'm talking about? about? Yes, I do. It is a lot yeah. of talk. About some cornerbacks, I think, yeah, Boss Cowboy in particular. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I got a lot to say about that, but I'm going to let you go first, Boss Cowboy. I'm going to let you go first. Because you play cornerback, so I'm, pay, I'm playing respect. You know what I mean? You should go first because you played it. Get your take on this thing. And then I, I'm, I'm going to slide in the back door and uh, give you my little breakdown in a second. Well, I'm going to just say, just to say it how it is, man. I, I really, corner is doing, and, and pretty much the off season is doing what it's supposed to. Man, hold on, man. I want to, I just want to show something real quick, man. My boy said this, man. I like this, man. I like when they come out like this, man. My boy said, just subscribed on the YouTube. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Thank you, Terrence. Tell the people, man. Tell the people. Tell the people, man, to sit there and subscribe. I like that. He didn't just subscribe. He came back and told everybody I subscribed. That's what I'm talking about. But uh, <laughs> real quick, going back to what I was saying, like, uh, it's supposed to change. Like, so... 
I think what happened to a lot of us is when we start watching the film, we start loving the film and we start making our assessments as if the film is final. The film is only one part. Then you need to have your other checks to confirm with the with the test. Are your eyes wrong? Mm -hmm. Could it be something going on that that you, that you saw right or wrong that you need to test? And then there are sometimes just keeping it 100 thresholds there are certain people that you'll say i want you at a certain size or i want you at a certain speed or you just don't fit mm -hmm. so when i'm looking at what's happening it's almost like people are acting surprised but it's really not surprising like at all oc it's not mm -hmm. surprising to see kind of like the changes that's going on and we should honestly expect it so if we look at horn mm -hmm. versus farley mm-hmm versus certain mm. what do you see boss cowboy what do you see i mean i know what i see boss cowboy I'm, but I'm, i well, want you to go and then i go can i go last i mean um, yeah go ahead yeah so, I was so, saying so you, yeah you go yeah yeah so so look i mean i, I think that farley is a traditional long athletic good cornerback right out of v tech i tend to like those v tech quarterbacks man those virginia boys a lot of them a lot of times they can ball now if you're looking at certain i mean certain is a long guy his dad played uh football a long time played in the league so i think that he is good at recognition in terms of coverages i think that he's really good at recognizing the routes and what the receiver is trying to do to him in terms of recognition. He's a long lean guy. I don't see that high level explosiveness and break out of him on the film that I saw boss cowboy. Right. And if you get into horn, his dad, Joe horn played receiver for the saints for many years. Right. And so he has high football acumen as well. Uh, if you look at the Auburn film uh, of horn in particular, you see him making a ton of plays. You see him getting a pick. You see him breaking on the ball very, very well. Um, you see him long. I see upper level quickness and explosion with him. Um, I tend to like Horn a little bit more based on what I've seen. Uh, and so I see Mercedes saying, oh, hell no, Farley. He hurt guy or he gets hurt. All right. But I think that, look, I think that Horn is a lot of upside in terms of being an explosive playmaker on the next level and this is not based on no fanboy stuff this is just based on what i think my eyeballs see but boss cowboy talk to the people i mean talk me off the ledge if you think i'm wrong about this i like to hear your feedback i think pastor douglas hit it on the head I, that's my gut saying what he's saying too the fan base wants horn the jones would probably go with pedigree and polish with certain i can definitely see that i can easily <clears throat> see that uh i think you did right on that I think you're so right on that. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, man. I'm, I'm going to say it like this. When I say the boss cowboy God is written in pencil, it is. So I have to be willing to change. So I have to just be honest and say what, I, what happened. What happened? Let's be all the way honest. Man, we got to change a little bit of our opinions on these guys, man. Just a little bit. Because mm -hmm. why say you got to check a box and then say when they check the box, hey, you didn't check the box. <laughs> mm -hmm. Both mm -hmm. of those guys' stock should go up. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be deceptive because it's foolish, in my opinion, to just trust pro days because pro days always seem to have inflated 40 times. The combine is going to hurt us. That everybody was on a neutral plan, right? You don't mm -hmm. really have that. Four, three at the pro day. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, yeah, okay. Be more comfortable with the numbers he put up. But, man, the numbers he put up six four days. Let's keep that 100. Mm -hmm. The vertical, mm -hmm. no, that's real. That means he dunking with two hands. When you up bench, and benching 18 reps, jump. Oh, you explosive. Like him to where I could swallow a Like Jay. See, Jay. Jay. Went over some people's head. The, the Ooh, jack part. Ooh, yeah. Just the, I get it. Because most of the people that really, really heavily watch film retain that 10 or horn. Mm -hmm. But what it really is, also 6162 ran that 4 4. CJ Henderson also ran a good 40 times. We saw the book them last year, right? So 
it's like so people kind of looking at the 40 the real film heads they look play across some digs and digs just frankly look just as good or better than you and if that's the case where digs look just as good as you, this other guy was ranked at the bottom of the first that we got in the second 13 it ain't that people have problems with like you got thoughts on that oc I mean, listen, that's true. I think that actually Diggs played better than him in spots Me last too. year for sure. You know what yep. I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I, I I, agree. And I said this about five shows ago. Well, you got your ex-college teammate to get drafted a 10 to make way more money than you. He can put, put him in a building and you got pushed down and you outplayed him. Right. In a lot of ways, yeah, right? So, so, so the dynamic of that is weird, right? However, you know, it's flavor of the month, right? When you deal with the NFL draft, it's hype train, right? It's right. all that stuff. So it's yes. not just performance. So being a film head is fantastic, but you got to get into the extraneous factors that cause people and GMs because they're people. Scouts are people. They get emotional. They get influenced. Right. They may get led astray on certain things and reach on a guy. We see it every single year. Right. So this is nothing new. Now, in terms of value, to your point, Boss Cowboy, yeah, I, I, I would agree. Either way, if we go either way, I'm just being honest, man. Like, if we move down and get one of the other, I'm not going to be like, we so dumb. We, we, we passed on the, we passed on Satane. Or we so dumb, we passed on Horn. I'm going to be like, both are nice. Cause it's a hard yeah. debate anyway. This not it. This not a shoe in debate. The only thing that's gonna settle this is when they in the league. And I am betting on Horn though. Like I'm betting on yeah. Horn. I'm gonna bet yeah. on a football player way more than a finesse guy all day. Pretty much. But, but you know. But, you, you, but you, at oh. the same time, I won't be surprised if the turn. Sertain does his thing. I, I won't be surprised. But but like I don't think anybody should act like, oh, it's just so obvious who's the best. This has been a hard debate since I first laid eyes on all of them. <laughs> Go ahead, okay. So you so you know you know what I'm thinking? So so Picante, because I want to get Picante's feedback on this because we got ladies in the show, we got Wendy in the chat, right? We got a lot of people watching. So look, I mean, from your perspective, right, what do you think, Picante? Because you've seen tape on both of these guys you just saw it on the show. I mean, who do you think is better and why? What's your opinion? <laughs> oh, that's tough. Okay, so better. I'm going to go with Boss Cowboy on this. Their measurables are the same. I mean, they're both explosive. They, um, they're they playmakers. Um, like I said, it can go either way. And I mean, look at it. Height, of course, two inches is, you know, two inches. <laughs> but, you know, other than that, the speed, vertical, I just say either way, I think it's going to be a, a good choice. I don't think we can't, we, we can go wrong with Tertain or Horn. Yeah. Exactly how I see it. Great job. So you, so you tossing them up. You tossing them up, basically. Yeah, Just I toss mean, it up. I, I got a favorite, and you know, but at the same time, I'm like her. The, it, it's corner go be better either way. Can we say that? Exactly. Corner, corner and that's the would point. be better either way. Like that's so, the point. Yeah. So I, I I would like corner just regardless if we did it now. I still believe in the offensive guys more than I believe in the defensive guys that we likely to pick at 10. Mm -hmm. I still think that you're going to find round two. And, man, hold on real quick. I want to give a special shout-out to my boy Flex, man. Flex is in the chat, man. I'm talking about going to war for Boss Cowboy Sports, man. He told everybody, he said, man, get the likes up, man. Y'all getting a bunch of great film and content, man. You know what I mean? I, I saw you, Flex. He did Thank you, early, Flex. Like, early in the show, he was like, man, like – he know he see that's a guy that know the uh youtube algorithm rules he like man help them help them with their algorithms because sometimes that's all it's about man everybody ain't got a dollar to put in a cash app everybody not gonna be a patreon insider where they're gonna get all the contents exclusive from us but there are free things people can do like what my boy 43 flex said man hit that like hit that subscribe and you can share bro that's simple stuff if you like what you're getting from picante She's bringing the sauce, and you liking what you get from the OC and Wakanda boss. Then yeah, just just do some of the little things that help grow the movement, you know. So now I, I saw that flex, and I appreciate that. Then obviously my boy Joe Trichina, 
He's in the house all the way from Italy, and I'm telling you, it's around three in the morning right now. And he Thanks, does Joe. It. Every day he'll Thanks. come in and he'll get some show and then go to bed. We got much love for you, Joe, all the way from Italy, man. Appreciate it. But yeah, man. But going back to um, these guys, I don't want to get so caught up to the point to where I become where I'm an idiot. Now, um, my boy Geechee raised a great point too when he was talking about. Um, the actual the person that was called to do the most was horn so horn was asked to take the coldest defend i mean offensive players on the team cool. versus certain was not and i'm gonna just be honest it's a couple of games that just gave me a bad taste about certain i just tell everybody go look at the 2019 south carolina game and tell me do you see top 10 like I like to see you play ball out on boys you supposed to. I don't like to see guys get you that you're better than. And he was he was taking the school that game, man. I, I didn't like his performance and it, and it wasn't just one game. I see I smell a little bit of soft on him versus I feel like his teeth and horn. A dog. I see good speed. I don't see elite explosiveness. I see form taught technique good football player i don't see sheer will specimen kill you no i see more dog out of horn i yep. see more top level breaking ability and speed through the ball and to the ball and i see more playmaking ability on the football that's what i see when i look at horn versus certain and that's why i like horn so i'm picking one horn horn yeah, horn, horn, horn 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 yep. if <laughs> we horn yep if we win with horn at 10 today I'm just being honest, man. They did what they supposed to do for us to feel a little bit better about them at 10. Like, you know, like I'm just being honest, man. When you go out there and you do your thing and your numbers confirm your film, hey, man, don't be that guy that's still just super stubborn about, oh, I would never do defense at 10. I, I want to be consistent. And what I said consistently is I want a freak at 10. 10 is about the genetic freaks. This is genetically freaky. Everybody not running four three nines. Most people would never jump even thirty eight inches. This dude jumped forty one inches. That's super dunking the football. Absurd. Absurd, absurd. vertical. That's absurd hops. That's absurd mm -hmm. hops, man. So so let's put it into perspective. Let me help, let me help everybody put it into perspective for somebody that that you know. LeBron James, I believe, was recorded with a forty four inch vertical. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's jumping forty one point <laughs> five. Yeah, it's absurd. And he doesn't play basketball. That's absurd explosiveness. And listen, I don't care what anybody says. And Boss Cowboy, you know this better than anybody because of the position that you play. When you run 4-3 anything, that's extremely elite speed. That's extreme elite speed. When you drop below 4.0, that's elite speed. That one little tick, that's the difference between You're a rolling. pick, a touchdown, yeah. or getting the boy out of bounds when you need to in a chase down. You know what I'm saying? For some like that reason, one I still don't trust Sertains. It just, it, I don't, his, it, the eyeball. Go with your I, gut. It's like, I don't see the 4-4-2 four, four, when he plays. I see 4-5, bro. I, I see, see four, four five. five. I that's see, what I see. I don't. Yeah. That's a train four two. You know what I'm saying? Like when you get in pre-draft yes. workouts, oh, you do a lot of training. Woo. You do a lot of training, and that's all you do. You so you concentrate on that first ten. Because I've been in pre-workout draft camps, and so you work with a personal trainer. You working on cone drills, get off. You doing explosive drills, jumps. You doing all types of stuff to get that first ten right. Because the first ten yards is the key to running the fast forty. So if you can get that first ten right, and if you look at him running his forty, which I looked at him running his forty, I looked at it about three times. You notice it's perfect technique. His head is down, and then when he gets twenty yards, boss cowboy, he pops up, and then you just see that stride. He's He's more of like a long strider than just that explosive twitchy type guy and that's the thing that makes me a little bit yeah, like, uh, like mm. oh no oh yeah. no now when i see horn when you watch horn run you see top of those feet in the ground you see pop 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 you see a dude getting out that's you what you see, boss. Bop, 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 bop. No, okay, so Bob, okay, bop, 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 bop. give you my sound effects, okay? <laughs> you see him driving off the balls of his feet, okay? All right, watch. Thank you. You I see him really driving bop, off bop, the bop. balls of his feet. 
being very, very fast and explosive. Boss Cowboy, man, that's the last time you climb on this show, okay? I'm going in after that, okay? You do it again, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm saying, man. Everybody's trying to figure I'll out play. what was bop, 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 They didn't understand bop, that. They didn't understand that. You're right. What is that? <laughs> I knew what you were saying when you said pop, pop. You were saying running off the balls of your feet. But they, you know, I see a lot of pop, 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 pop. Everybody was like, what? Did, what is that? Like explosion running off the balls of your feet, generating force, inertia, and explosion. That's what bop 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 means, okay? All right, all right, running right. on the balls of your feet. <laughs> Did you know that? Did you yeah, I didn't know what he was doing. Everybody's still trying to figure out what you were talking about with bop 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 bop. <laughs> 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 all right, Bubba Cante, you got anything else? Yeah. Oh, oh, they hit you. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh. Okay, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, you yeah. started this, boss. Yes, I did. No, but he finished it. Terrence, hit you. <laughs> you started Terrence this. Thanks, Terrence. Because, because, Appreciate because, you, Terrence. Because. So you started this clowning. So, 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 boss cowboy, I got you, bro. I got you. You know, this is the second time you did this in this I one know, hour. I, I know, got man. You. I'm sorry, man, but you did. Now you, you, you did. like to do that. You like oh, to slide him in. Like Levert. Pop, 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 pop. Goes my man. <laughs> Nah, boss, you sound, boss, you sound, you, you, you sound like a, 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 a crow and scratch in the face. Don't, don't say that, okay? You good? Oh, hold on, we got Wendy, we got Wendy, Wendy. Oh, hold on, we got Wendy. Oh. <laughs> they coming out with the emotions on your own. Whitney, 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 Whitney. I thought you liked me, Whitney. I thought, she I does. thought we was good. She loves you. <laughs> No, all right, Whitney. You, now you're right. You're right. So, 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 I, so See, I will. That, I will. Like, that she so she started to get on me now. She talking about boss tired. Yeah, she love you, man. She see how quickly she divorced me. Yeah. So, so Wendy, that's my girl. That's my girl back now. <laughs> look, Thank look, you, Wendy. Look, I appreciate. Because yeah, boss yeah, do look, look tired, like yeah. a old bag of rocks. Oh man, you gonna go bag crazy? Bag of rubbish. Oh, you, bop, 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 bop. Give us more. <laughs> okay. <man>. okay. <laughs> they cry. Now you remixing it. Now you remixing it. <laughs> now you remixing it. <laughs> Oh, they give me the emojis, bro. They kick it. But hey, man, listen. OC still my boy, man. He just got a this Gerald Levert moment, man. That's all it was. Hey, man, but, you um, know, we change it up for the people, you know. Give you what you want here. You get everything here. You never know what you go going to get. <laughs> so real quick, uh, Picante, do you have anything else? Um, I I don't. I mean, do you want to talk about Watson or? Oh. Yeah. Watson. Okay. What do you what do you think about this? I mean, we've had and because and, and I want to get a woman's perspective on this. I think it's really important, and which is one of the reasons why Picante is on the show. I mean, we had Deshaun Watson, uh, uh, Richard. Oh, here you go, putting up more stuff. What's up, Richard? I appreciate you, man. I ain't in my feelings, man. It's all good. I mean, you should hear some of the stuff I say to Boss Cowboy off the air, okay? So don't worry about it. I will fully make up for this. Don't even worry about it because we talk a lot. So. Back to uh, back to Picante because look, you've had uh, several, several. You've had like I think 16, 17 lawsuits filed against uh, uh, my guy Deshaun Watson, unfortunately, yeah. right? right. Uh, as it relates to him uh, inappropriately, uh, some type of uh, the best way I can put it is alleged sexual misconduct, right? Right. Mm -hmm. With with you know with various women of all these people accusing him. Um, and we don't know whether he's guilty or not. I always give people the benefit of the doubt and say that, look, we, we don't know until more evidence comes out. It seems strange that all these things happen at the same time. So I really don't know. But but just from your perspective, uh, uh, Picante, do, do you think uh, that it could be anything that's relevant to this thing? Is it is it weird that all these people all of a sudden are coming forward all at one time? I mean, what will be your take on this, Picante? I always do find it strange when, not strange, just interesting how uh, when one makes, when one woman makes an accusation, then all of a sudden you see multiple. So for me, it's maybe um, that one woman is maybe giving the strength for the other ones to speak out, or I, it's kind of different for me to understand um, what's going on there. So I don't know if that one woman who actually speaks out for first one is giving the other woman the strength, the other women the strength to kind of also be free to speak their voice as well too. But I'm like you, I like to give um, people the benefit of the doubt when there's more evidence to show and then make my conclusion based on that. That's just how I feel. Yeah, and I mean, and I'm actually very glad that you stepped out on a limb on the Cowboy Show to talk about this um because also a friend of mine gary said something about this as well gary literally he he messaged me he said boss do we talk about football 
or do we talk about issues that can affect lives? Because it's a lot of people that see this from a very hurtful place, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna just say it just straight up. It's a lot of black people that have a lot of distrust of what's happening because a lot of times we feel sometimes that we are the targets. And I would just say, let's all be careful because it would be best, especially if we just let more information come out um, to where we are sensitive to all sides. Because if it was the case, which it doesn't sound like to me, the more I'm researching, the more the, the stories are sounding weirder, like weirder and weirder, right? And it's, it's not normal what I'm hearing. But at the same time, I still wanna let everything play out before I jump to either side right now. But I want to express, like especially my friends Gary's concern, that this to some people definitely feels like he's being railroaded. It looks like, and that happens. And if that is the case, what I'm tired of seeing, just being all the way honest, is after sometimes it comes out that people was making up stories for money, that person never gets their reputation back. And no, and there are hardly ever charges filed on the people that ruin these people's lives. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. not saying that that's happened, but there to me there need to be a voice sometimes for both sides because everybody is for the victim side to the point it make us all hesitant to even want to talk about it because you don't want to be bashed for stating an opinion that might seem or even appear that you're being biased towards a man. You know, because everybody should take domestic violence and sexual assault and all that kind of stuff extremely serious. But I also don't see at the same time enough seriousness when sometimes this stuff is about money grabs. So I do understand where people have feelings of mistrust as they watching this whole thing play out. But I would say be patient. And we have to be patient, especially with us having voices. We can't go out there on either side and just say what and talk in theory because a lot of people listen to us and then it's a lot of people listen wanting to take us down and say stuff that we're not saying. But at the same time, it's still important that we want to just talk about that. And thank you for bringing that up for Kante. Yeah, yeah thank you so much for that. Yeah, we, we don't know. This is a wait and see situation. You know, it, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, that, that this has happened to Deshaun Watson, if in fact that these allegations are not true. But it's even more unfortunate, you know, if it's truth uh, in the matter and, and you've had misconduct and mistreatment of women in any way. Um, so we want to be sensitive and, and just let it ride out. And definitely, we're not scared to talk about hard topics on this show, no. which is one of the reasons why you got to follow, like, share, subscribe, comment, Boss Cowboy Sports. But we go talk about it as more gets unveiled and we have more clarity in the situation we'll talk about it a lot more i do want to take this comment though because gary said i don't understand why big men situation went way went away with video evidence and alignment from seattle he's not talked about at all now what gary just said absolutely true and that absolutely shows you that it's a lot of racial bias in the mass media because the black lady that was beat up um by the lineman that was out of Seattle, I forgot his name. They hardly said a peep. And you had literal video evidence. This is all he say, she say at this point. No <laughs> DNA, no nothing, and it's plastered everywhere. And I don't want to hear because it's a quarterback. Now, you jump on all stories that's nasty when it's usually nasty. The media does that, but on, but on certain people, like even, it took me a whole two weeks to figure out that when, um, the, the coach for Kansas City, when his son injured that girl, I didn't even know she was black. I didn't know that at all. But I should have because of how they was covering it. They was covering mm -hmm. it like it was nothing. Like mm -hmm. they treat dogs better than us sometimes. Let's be all the way honest. Like yeah. what Gary just yeah. said is, is, no, that was insulting to watch them just be super quiet when this guy wrestled with the police officers, when this guy beat his his girl to where he thought she was dead you didn't hear a peep now you're hearing about booty hole stuff everybody know about that now nah, gary you right on that and that's just flat out wrong that's wrong and i would want to see from the media 
real equal outrage because if you outrage and you pro women when it's a watson i want to see you pro women when the sister's sitting there with her nose bloody or the little yeah. girl sitting in the hospital who probably won't ever be the same i want that same outrage because if it's not the same outrage you don't care so no nah, i agree with that gear yeah well said well hey. said boss cowboy Go ahead, i agree Conte, you say something? No. yes i agree with boss cowboy i don't i I don't think that we should pick and choose who we want to root for or what. I just think that it, we're all people and that we should just spread kindness and just, I don't know. I was, that's kind of touchy, but. I no, that's real. No, no, I agree. We should be kind and I think we should treat each other fairly, you know? So like, like that's the beautiful thing about us having our own podcast and our own voices. Likely somebody would have came and touched me on my shoulder and I didn't say not one lie. And I didn't say anything that was out of line, but I talk about some things that some people think is hard to talk about when it's really not, because we talking about problems that we want corrected. That's all we right. talking about. We just want some problems corrected. That's all we want. Like we just want stuff to be and everybody treated fair. And and I'm and I'm gonna just say this, I guess, and see if Picante have anything else. But <clears throat> I think we all need to strive. Everybody, black, white, Hispanic, everybody need to strive. Uh, to treat each other better, just period, like just period. I, Cause it, it, it hurt my heart, man. I put on my page something very simple, stop Asian hate, right? I have a lot of Asian friends from the University of Houston, a lot. Like I learned how to have a bunch of friends across all colors and, 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 and spectrums from my university. That's the first time I was put in a place where I had to, and I made really good friends. And when you have friends, and they're your friends, and you see that a community was a targeted with a hate crime, you want to show your friends, hey, man, I, I, I'm with y'all on that. Just like you will want them to say, I see what y'all going through, and I'm with you on that. And it hurt my heart that I saw, and I'm being honest, I saw a lot of my own people come in and say, yeah, stop Asian hate, but, like, no, it's no but to that. This is an easy one to agree with. Like, stop all that stuff. But I, but I'm not pulling the all lives or all hate. No, this is their time to acknowledge that their community was targeted. And when it's their time, I'm going to specifically say stop Asian hate. And so it's like, so it's like it, us too. We, we as a people need to also not look at everything so to the point to where we can't join hands with others that need help. Yeah, yeah I think that, I think, I, I think, go ahead, Picante. No, um, I was just going to say, Boss Cowboy, I, I I agree with you 100%. I think just, just stop hate in general. I'm a strong believer of, you know, just being selfish, meaning just work on yourself, work on being a better person for the kindness of this, like, humanity you know and i think sometimes we just have to stop and reflect how can i be a better person you know so that way we can just start spreading kindness and what can i do differently so kind of just be selfish and self-reflect on certain things so that way you can just be a better person for the world and that i'm a strong believer of that so yeah yeah and i think that you know it goes back to you know going back to what a lot of people were taught growing up the golden rule right treat other people the same way that you want to be treated right if you wouldn't want to be treated in a certain manner or addressed in a certain manner or regarded in a certain manner or looked at in a certain manner don't give that to other people always give to other people what you want right which is good treatment decency um and and have a degree uh, of care uh just a general degree of care you know for people that you meet and you contact and i think the world would be a whole lot better place i know we got off into deep uh political and and, and you know contextual conversation but i think that is it's 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 worth it and it's something that needs to be said across the board because of a lot of the issues that we see going on in the world today yeah and and if if y'all have anything else i like what mr mo you said a good run stopping d l defensive lineman heavy immovable player which i think we already acquired we really have already acquired those types yep we got gas last season got to keep them ol off our lbs and yep. good point and we've i think honestly to your point that's been addressed just like because yep. the guys that we have are those types yep. like the defensive linemen 
every defensive lineman that's currently under contract are experts at that part all right so i mean we are addressing it it's just not with the names that we would want you know but <clears throat> but that's it you know what i mean so I, but i had nothing else um on on any of those topics you know unless the anybody in the chat box but i unless you have something do you have anything else to contact uh no i don't it was great <laughs> no i don't have anything else oc I'm good to go, man. I think that it is good. It's a good show. We covered a whole lot of ground. And, uh, you know, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Boss Cowboy Sports. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, the whole nine yards. Right. And um, everybody got their pages up. But you're going to see more fancy stuff happen by this Thursday. And we're going to catch everybody up on that. But definitely, you're going to see a lot more content. Definitely coming on the page, Boss Cowboy Sports as well as the Twitter handle, which is going to be backwards. That's the only one where it's Cowboy underscore Boss. Then the Instagram, obviously, we're dropping content on that as well. So if you're an Instagram guy, you'll get it. The YouTube is up over a 1,000%. So our growth in YouTube is amazing. I can see it in the chat. It was amazing, man. Y'all rocked it tonight. Uh, I can't wait to YouTube catch up with Facebook. It's amazing to see the growth on YouTube, and we just getting started on that. And that's and that's obviously because y'all sharing that stuff and y'all actually helping those algorithms with the likes and all that kind of stuff. Lastly, obviously, if you want to help support the show, you could always drop a dollar in Boss Cowboy Sports. Most people, when they give, do way more than a dollar, and we greatly appreciate that. I only call you out by name unless you want me to. Obviously, I keep all of that type of stuff exclusive but people i appreciate when y'all put stuff in there because it goes right back in the show like we established a call line we're not gonna do the call line today but we we just you know added some more bells and whistles that are investments and then obviously i outsource to people that can help build those tools and it costs but so when you partner with us and you become an insider with the patreon all of that stuff builds boss cowboy sports and the movement and as well as your voices so we always appreciate everything that y'all do, and y'all definitely stay loyal. Um, is there anything else? Oh, Picante Coffee. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. Hi. Just real quick before we go, go check out my website, crookedcrow.coffee, and just I highly encourage you just to go and just see what type of coffee beans we have available. And um, maybe if you're lucky and if you're in the Dallas area, I can actually deliver my for myself for to you personally so just you know it's crookedcrow.coffee yeah could you could some could you put it in the um um could you put in the it chat in, in the chat in the chat the and website in the chat in order to find you and they can order some of her coffee because she's also an entrepreneur so mm -hmm. obviously yeah. any, especially if you're a coffee head you better get it from Bacante. come on <laughs> you go buy it somewhere because you are already addicted to it you might as well give it to a cowboy <laughs> fan that that got a got a lot of love for and they got a lot of love for you and, and i love yeah. Bacante because she's always excited full of smiles and ready to come talk about this cowboy stuff and she killed it like all those topics i mean come on i mean you dealing with <laughs> the best and the spice so now definitely support that could you give it to him one more time um, yes, it is um, crookedcrow.coffee. All right, man. Y'all make sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's your time. Go. Oh, it's. Sorry, guys. I haven't been able to learn how to use the chat box, so that's why I wasn't able to put it in. Yeah. So the next time what we'll do is we'll put it in during the show, and we'll just keep talking okay. about it during the show because it's just fair to her to just support her because she's supporting the movement. So I just want y'all to all do that. So remember to stay loyal. You're not Thank devoted. You. And that's what you're going to get with Boss Cowboy Sports. Stay up. B -b 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 Boss Cowboy Sports. W -w where your voice matters. Cowboy Sports.